This is Boss 812 Fire Black Professional Gun Grade Minimal Expanding Foam. This is used to seal openings in non-fire rated walls like where a wire, pipe, duct, cable is passing through like a stud in a uh, drywall wall. We want to seal around those openings. This is a gun foam on the top of the can. You notice it has a adapter so the gun can screw onto it like we have here. Cool thing about this type of applicator is that we can control it. Like if I just see a little bit of gun foam, you just squeeze the trigger a little bit, you get a little, and it stops flowing when you let go of the trigger so it doesn't run on. If I need a lot of it, you pull the trigger a little bit harder for larger gaps. This is a cleaner. It goes well with the gun foam. It's called gun and foam cleaner. You see on the top it has the same adapter so that the gun can screw onto it. But it's important to know that you don't take the gun off the can and clean it like with any regularity. Just leave the gun on the can until the contents of the can are used up. At that point, if you're going to take the gun off and move it to another can, I would clean it a little bit. Um, or if you're going to just put it on the shelf, then you'd screw the gun onto here and squirt a couple times through into a trash can or box and it'll clear out the gun. The foam won't cure in the can as long as there's pressure and there's pressure as long as we leave the gun on the can. On the back of the gun there is a regulator here that if we screw it all the way in it works like a safety so you can't pull the trigger and accidentally discharge the gun foam all over the back of your truck. But the cleaner does come with this adapter that's tethered to the top of the can right there it makes it work like a spray paint can and if you're on a job site and you get somewhere you don't want it you can use the gun foam cleaner like this to dissolve the product and then with some kind of a wipe or something you can wipe it up or just let it dry there and it will look like somebody spilled a little bit of orange sherbet on the ground another fake type of application is the straw foam we call it straw foam because it has a straw in the can that product uh, is a little more difficult to use and most of us know that this is like a one and done proposition that once we start using the product and we come back a couple days later what's left over in the can won't be available so this stuff is a little bit harder to regulate so you tend to over apply it and then the foam that's in the straw tends to run on so when you set the can down it can be a little bit messy but again having the gun foam cleaner we can take care of that. Again, this is for fire blocking in non-fire rated walls and mostly residential construction or light commercial. If you need a non-combustible fire block, Boss 136 in a cartridge will meet that demand. And if you're working in a fire rated wall, like a wall that a builder builds that's two hour, three hour, four hour, you need to use a fire stop material that's a little bit more complicated, but for, for now, I just want to show you the gun foam and the gun foam cleaner and how they all work together. So when you're on a job, if you have the fire black gun foam the cleaner and some wipes, you're going to come home kind of clean. You'll have a nice, neat construction project.